Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Okay, we've uh, finished up the uh, Yang Cheng Fu's 13 original postures, been on that for a few weeks. And by popular demand, we're going to go in a different direction, very different direction. And we're going to start to explore a little bit into Bagua Zhang, at least the energies of Bagua Zhang. And uh, just for the give you the the nickel tour on on Bagua Zhang. It's a uh, it's another Chinese internal martial art out of the Wu Dong tradition. So it's it's an internal martial art and uh, very different from Tai Chi Chuan. And uh, you know, whereas Tai Chi Chuan emphasizes a lot on on centering, rooting, and extending from that, the Bagua Zhang is more. Um, open fluid, uh, uh, non-directional. It just, it's, it has the possibilities of being everywhere and, and, uh, and nowhere. So it's, a uh, it's a, a, a different, uh, vibe than, than Taiji. And, uh, I found it, you know, very helpful for me to just open the doors to everything because it's an entirely different perspective, one that it is oriented. Uh, well, if you can think of Taiji Chuan as being primarily oriented toward the exploration of yin and yang, that is, and actually more important, insubstantial and substantial. And so that's the, you know, that, that polarities of, uh, that are occurring in that it's still there in in Bagua Zhang also the polarities, but the the polarities are a little different. It's uh, the polarities we are establishing now are the uh, uh, heaven and earth, and the eight directions. So what you we're doing is we're opening up our space wide open, and so instead of being here, it's like whoa, we're we're orienting to the eight points of the compass and the heavens and the earth. And so there's this, uh, it's become more of a, a, a four dimensional exercise where you're, it, it's primarily done in a circular fashion, practice in a circular fashion. And in fact, one of the things that is most common to uh, Bagua Zhang practice is something called walking the circle where you are you know, you're going around and in a very meditative way, you are orienting yourself to, you know, to the, those um, 10 different directions, the eight directions of the compass plus the heaven and earth. And so you're, you're getting, you're orienting to that by expanding your space and having a, your point of orientation is constantly shifting. Whereas the entire, at least the way I, I understand it is, uh, you know, that point of orientation is primarily your, you're grounded, you're, you know, you're, you're using that as your, your base, your, your root is your base. And then you extend from there. Whereas in Bagua Zhang there, it's, the, it's more like a gyroscope. Your, uh, the way you you root in and and Bobby, you're turning, spinning, spiraling, and consequently you are establishing a, a very fluid root as you as you go through it. Um, we're not going to get too deep into it, at least the beginning. It depends on how how this goes, but we're not going to get too too much into the circle walking. You know that's the way I would usually start to teach this. And just get do that. I mean, traditionally you would just walk the circle for a few years, and then they start to show you something. But the uh, uh, we're going to dive right into what I consider to be the energies of the Bagua Zhang, and it's something that that even if you don't pick up the uh, the practice, uh, you can still benefit from the you know perceiving the energies from that perspective and so the um, uh, you know getting that orientation so that you're you're actually feeling into you know we'll start with just the the 
ordinal parts of the compass, the uh, north, south, east, west, and having a, a sense of that, because in Bhagavad Gita, we're, the, it's not just an, an intellectual thing. It's like we're, you're actually gathering the energies of these different directions, and they have correspondence within the and, and the Wuxing, the uh, the five element theory, and they relate to internal organs, the seasons of the year, uh, emotional states, etc. And but we're going to get a, a more of a direct contact with that as a as a meditation, just feeling into that. Whether or not you can actually feel anything is immaterial. What you want to establish that just as a point of orientation. And also the heaven and earth thing, too. And that's something that the heaven and earth thing we've been playing with for, for a few years now uh, here in this class and getting really connecting up to the big G there. And this way, it's we're kind of opening up even more so there's more we're involved in the a lateral expression of that energy as well. Um, you know, Bhagavad Jung is, is a kick-ass martial art. It primarily... Uh, designed so that you are never where your opponent thinks you're going to be. You're constantly turning, swifting, spiraling around so that you're appearing behind your uh, your opponent uh, whenever they start to collapse in on you. Um, it uh, there are probably as many schools of Bagua Zhang as there are Tai Chi Tran schools. So whatever I'm, I'll be talking about will be coming filtered through my teacher, uh, 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 Master Yang Fu Kui. You know, he got that, you know, from his family, which is a, a, a rich, has a rich martial arts tradition going back, you know, centuries. And uh, so the, it's the, um, uh, so we're getting it from from that particular perspective, but there are lots of different interpretations of Bagua. So what I'm saying is uh, just a tiny little piece of, of, of a very large puzzle. Um, I got to it fairly late in the game. Um, you know, I was in my 60s whenever I just began my pro my practice. So it's uh, it, it carries that. I I'm no longer terribly interested in kicking breaking face and kicking ass i'm i'm more interested in in the, the feeling of it and and how that allows me to promote health and longevity and um you know there's a very famous youtube video of of a guy who's probably like 105 when he did it uh, uh doing this really beautiful bagua form uh bagua form and uh and then he actually died, I think, 118. So there's a there's there's a promise there, you know, that if you tap into this this beautiful uh, uh, fluid art, that you'll actually enhance your health and longevity. Um, but mostly, it's it's going to Im improve your balance, your fluidity, your agility, your flexibility. You're going to relax and open up more. And uh, also the chi is going to flow differently than it will in most other internal arts that, that we've explored. So uh, you get the chance to uh, taste a different flavor of it. So let's, uh, uh, let's stand up and, and start to play around with this. Okay, so let's uh, step out and begin by feeling into your three pillars. So we want to establish that as our point of reference in all these uh, internal exercises. So feel the balls of your feet. Your knees are unlocked and you're sinking down into the earth. 
releasing down very, very soon. And release your hip joint so that, that there's no restriction there. You're unkinking the hose in your, in your pelvic area. And you also want to reach up with the crown of your head, tuck in the chin and open your jade pillow gate. So keeping that awareness there of that lengthening of the spine and opening up the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull. And then that allows the energy to much, move much more freely. And we're beginning by establishing that heaven earth connection. So we're having that as our, our point of orientation here. We're establishing our central equilibrium by aligning to the yin chi of the earth, the yang chi of the heavens, and also the direction, the infinite down of the, of the earth, the infinite up of the, of the heavens, and just feel yourself reaching and connecting up to that. So you become part of this circuit that's extending upward, downward. And you allow your mind to extend way past your normal boundaries. So in doing so, you're enhancing your personal space as you do that. You're creating a very large reservoir of chi below your feet and extending upward and connecting up to a big one up there too. You feel your index fingers and establish your energetic coherence. Your point and reach with your index finger. Establish your energetic coherence. <clears throat> Reach out very so slightly with your elbows. You just want to feel that that elbow is just 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 a very gentle expansion, just enough so that you're releasing your chronic shoulder tension. Yeah, I'm assuming that most of us have something in that in that there. So there's a a tendency to just initiate movement via the shoulders. But just reach out a little bit with it with the elbows. That activates our, the elbow chin and opens up the shoulders, allows the chi to flow. Relax your lower back and allow your sacrum to drop. Flattening out your, your lumbar area a bit. So what we're doing here is we're connecting up the base of the spine at the Wei Lu point at the coccyx, connecting that up with the top of your head. And so there's this, you're lengthening your spine and allowing the chi to flow freely along the, uh, along the spine and the uh, do meridian, the do uh, channel. Also the penetrating vessel gets opened up with that. Now I want you to the Bagua hand is like, it's open, very open. It's reaching out, it's not tense, but it's extending. So the, you're feeling yourself kind of reaching with your little finger and extending outward with that. And you get this kind of rounded palm, open fingered. So they have this, this, this it's big. You're, like you're palming a, a, a volleyball with your, with your hand, but there's no tension there. So just but feel into that and just notice how that changes things just by doing that. Just by bringing awareness to your Bagua hand and feel the energy that comes from being in your, having your three pillars established and you're just having your hands reaching out like that. Having your elbows reaching out. So we're having 
we're already starting to crank up the cheese. So right now I'm facing uh, east. So to my to my left is north, to my right is south, and behind me is west. So as best you can, you want to have some sense of the directions that you're facing. It doesn't have to be exact, but you want to have some, some sense of that and you can fine tune it. You know, and, you know, whenever you practice, you know, by yourself, but the, uh, for right now, just have some awareness of there and what we're doing here is we're meeting the direction. It's, it's as if it's a person. You're greeting, like I'm facing east, I'm greeting the east. And I'm opening to the energy of the east to come. I'm meeting that with my, with my whole being. At the same time, I'm also meeting west behind me. And Master Yon says, you, you ask for it to, to give you the energy. He says, you know, you're asking it to, to help you with, with, the, with that big chi. The, the big chi, the infinite chi of the universe is coming in and you get to eat the chi. You're eating the chi and it, it's, you're just asking it to fill you up. <laughs> so doing this, we're enhancing our space, our personal space. We're getting very big. To my left is north. So I'm meeting that too. I'm saying, hey, north, how's it going? Come on in. You know, and the same thing with south. So I'm, I'm, those directions are filling me up also. And as you do this, by meeting this, you notice that you're, you're, you're shifting into a super conscious state. Your mind clears. There's just this big now. You got these, I got north, south, east, west, heaven, earth. And I get to occupy this position right in the center. Now, if we think of it in terms of the Wuxing, the five elements, we have that position in the center here is earth, the earth element. I get to occupy this earth element at, at, in this, this, this place right here, but the earth also fills up all the other elements as well. And then my south is giving me fire, fire chi. Fire, the fire element is filling up. And that nourishes my heart. The heart is the emotion. The emotion of heart is joy. The north is giving me water. And the west is giving me the metal element. East is giving me the uh, wood. So just as you're, you're meeting, but you're eating the cheese that it's being presented to you. And this is where we start our Bagua. We begin with this 
encountering the big chi in this way. So that we're kind of part of this vast system and we get to move with it. We get to kind of ride the currents through the system, ride the different energies. In the balls of your feet, feel that. Without letting go of the of all those directions, you, you don't have to think about it, you just allow it to keep filling you up. And then just reach with your wrists and bring your hands up to about belt high. Just feel. Feel that, get that Bagua hand, and just feel into the chi there. Reach with your elbows and open your shoulders. Open your back. Feel between your shoulder blades. And as you reach forward, pull back with your body. So you're feeling these holes in opposition. Now pull back with your hands and go forward with your body and Feel those poles in opposition. And then reach forward, go back with your body, reach forward with your hands, sink in your heels as you go back and feel into that. Go into the balls of your feet as you pull back. Body goes forward. And you want to eat that chi too. So all these things are giving us more chi than we ordinarily handle. But we're increasing our ability to, to carry, to store and circulate the chi, but also to throw it away. And so hands come down, put your heels, and feel the yin sink into the earth. Feel the energy kind of coming down and through, it's just like, like it's water going down a drain. It's circulating down, 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 emptying out. Feel that yin chi. Now go into the balls of your feet. Reach with your wrists. And reach out with your hands. Back with your body. Feel that. Now, feel your elbows. Open your shoulders. Open your back. And separate very slowly separate your hands by reaching with your elbows. You're opening, shoulders are very open, relaxed. You're feeling that connection all the way down through your feet and into the earth. You're reaching out with your hands, opening, and feel that separation there. Feel the effect of pulling those poles in opposition. And eat that chi too. Press down, sink in your heels, and very yin. Feel the energy circulating down, 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 that watery centripetal kind of spiral downward. Now go into the balls of your feet, reach of the wrists. Reach out, pull back with your body, and now reach with your elbows, open, open. Feel, feel the tendons, ligaments in your arms, the fascia, feel the tensegrity as you do that. 
Remember to keep that Bagua hand open. And then sink into your heels as your hands come down. See yourself emptying out, but also creating this void that allows for the energy to come to come in. And then hands come up to belt high. Pick up your right foot and step forward with your right foot. Now sink into your right foot, your right heel, and then your right ball, and then reach forward and out with your hands open. Extend out your offering. Feel that opening between your shoulder blades, that connection all the way down through your legs and through, through your feet and into the earth. And then sink into your back foot and press down. Step back. In your heels and empty out again. Reestablish your connection to the to the, the heaven, earth, north, south, east, west. Feel that connection. Feel your space getting bigger, bigger as you fill those the, the different directions. Eat the chi, keep it coming. And don't forget to throw it away. You eat it and you throw it away. When the balls reach with your wrists, reach with the fingers, reach with the elbows, reach open. Sink into your heels, hands come down, in, palms up. Step forward with your right foot, heel, feel the heel. Now feel the ball and reach, open, extend. Feel, feel that extension, feel it going all the way through your back. Now feel the heel of your left foot. Sink in, set the left knee and spiral down to the left as you, as you turn. Okay, you're spiraling down and turning. Your, your leg is, is stationary. You're using your quad to do that. And at the same time, you're reaching up and out with your right hand as you're turning and reaching down with your left. So it looks like like this, where I'm going here, and then I'm going heel and turn, and as I do that, I'm reaching up and up and out with my right hand. My left hand is is I'm reaching around with my elbow as I turn. My whole body's turning, pressing down with my left hand. Notice that. My hand, my elbow is, is set like this, and my arm is reaching out at an angle. Left hand is reaching down like this. Okay, step back. Take into your heels and let that go. Feel that energy going. Eat the chi. Throw it away. Move the balls of your feet, reach with the wrists. Reach with the fingers, open the back. With the heels, open, reach with the elbows. Hands come down, sink. 
Palms up. Step forward with your right foot. Right heel, right ball, reach. Left heel, set the left knee, spiral down to the right, and then turn to the left, reaching forward and out with your right hand, left hand pressing down as you turn. So your whole body is turning. So the right hand is, is stays like this, and you're moving away from it. So you're separating your, the poles in opposition. You're pulling the left hand. You're opening, you're stretching your rubber band there between the two as you spiral down to the, to the left. You're going to pivot on the right heel. And sink into that right heel, right set the right knee. You're going to spiral down, and you're going to step around with the left foot. So you're coming here, and you're circling it around so that you're now facing to the, uh, well, I'm facing to the south when I do this. And the turn so that you're turning and spiraling. So now I'm facing west. My body faces south. Now I turn, turn, turn. Now it's facing west. And my arms, as I do this, I'm going to come around and I'm going to step around like this and I'm going to turn so that, notice here you're facing straight on. I'm going to da, 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 da. I'm like 90 degrees this way and holding my hands like I'm holding the ball in Tai Chi as I spiral down into the uh, uh, all the way to the right. So here we're doing something very different than what we do in Tai Chi. Ordinary Tai Chi, we like to keep the hips and shoulders moving as a unit, and we have this, you know, we get our power, you know, from this, 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 everything is moving together. Bagua is different. Bagua says, no, we don't want to do that. We're going to, we're going to spiral. Everything's going to turn, right? And we, you get, we're getting this, this kind of back and forth rotational thing going on in the body. So it really opens up your back, opens up your spine and your, uh, the whole system. We go back to, uh, Back to the, uh, the neutral place, go into the heels, sink. Reestablish your compass points. Meet the east. Meet the west behind you. I'm meeting the west behind me. Meet the east, meet the west, meet the north, meet the south. Where it is, in, you know, depending on where you're all facing right now, meet the heaven, meet the earth, feel yourself right there at the center, the earth energy right in the center, very, very yin, feel, but yin, but very substantial, we're going, we're allowing the the chi to go down, but at simultaneously, it's just the, the yin chi, the earth is ascending, filling us up. Move to the balls of the feet. Reach, reach of the fingers. Open the back. Separate. Feel the tensegrity as if the fingers are one part of one system. You can feel it through your back and there's they're connected. They're like pulling these rubber bands apart as you 
as you stretch. When the hands come down, go to your heels. Feel the yin sink into the earth. Palms up. Feel the receptivity now. Very yin. You're very receptive. Feel the heaviness of the energy in your hands pressing down on your arms, down on the palms of your hands like you're, you're carrying weights in your hands, like a shot put there. But then we step with the right foot and reach, open, open, extend. Sink in the heel of the left foot, barrel down to the right, and then turn to the left. Reach forward and out with the right hand, press down with the left. Feel the pulse in opposition here. And in this exercise, I'm, I'm deliberately exaggerating the arms. I might, you know, if I'm doing a Bagua form, I might do it a little differently. But for this exercise, I really want you to feel that, that energy of the opening there. I want to feel that, that extension you know, of the, of the, between the two hands and the, the body is pulling away and the feeling that opening there. Okay. So now we're going to, as we, we're going to sink into the, um, so boom, the pivot on the right heel, 90 degrees is as close as you can get and come around with your left foot and then spiral down to the right and holding holding the ball over here. Your, your left hand is reaching toward your right. Your right hand is reaching toward the left. Your elbows are reaching out, opening up the shoulders. And now you're going to Left hand is going to come up under your armpit and reach up. And your body turns. Pivot on your left heel. And you've turned around. You spiral the other way now. You're pressing down with your right hand, reaching out with your left. This is a basic Bagua posture. There's a bunch of them, but this is a basic one here where what we're doing here is the right arm, notice how it's curved. It's, it's rounded, right? And it's very characteristic of Bagua. There's a roundedness and everything. So we're, we're here like this. It's, you're reaching out with the elbow. Everything is rounded. You're reaching with the, with the head. So this, you got this, this thing that's pressing down. You want to have your thumb pointing to your navel. So, so you're here like this, you're, you're reaching out like that, you're opening in your left hand. So the, notice the elbow is in line with my body, it's in line with my shoulder. Okay. I'm not out here like this. I'm here. I'm straight like that and reaching out with my left hand. So what we don't want is this. We're looking for this. So we get this, we, this, this is kind of a, kind of a nothing posture. This gives us a very profound martial posture that this reaching, notice how it's extending outward. This is extending out. Everything is opening. We're lengthening the connective tissue. We're getting that tensegrity in the whole system as we open that up. And everything uh, getting very big. So not only are we expanding our space externally, we're expanding our space internally. We're opening. So it gets this, your arms get very long. Your, your reach becomes you know, quite profound. So it's it's something that comes with this with this opening. Your 
you're allowing the you know the universe to flow through you and fill you and and keep you expanding in all directions let's go back to back to beginning here and back to the heels and empty out back to the yin Feel your hands. Feel the four directions. Feel the heavens. Feel the earth. Eat the chi. Feel your central equilibrium. Tuck in your chin. Open up the jade pillow gate. Keep everything moving. Keep the chi moving because we're cranking up a lot of chi right now. And you want to keep it moving. You want to keep it circulating. You, you don't want to jam up anywhere. So all this stuff is, is opening up. So you want to keep that, keep that uh, part of the deal there. Okay, so here we go. So fall to your feet, reach with your wrist. Arms are very soft. Fingers open, reaching out. Lengthening, feel that stretch there between your shoulder blades and reach with the elbows. Uh, feel that stretch, feel the rubber bands pulling apart. Opening the chest, opening the shoulders. Hands come down, sink into your heels. Uh, feel the yin. So we're, we went from, from moving up into the heavens and now we're moving down into the earth. Rotate with palms up. Feel, feel the weight in your hands. Receive, take that energy in, eat it. Throw it away, eat, eat some more, throw that away. It's a, it's a big buffet. Okay. Step forward to the right foot. Right heel, right ball. Reach out and open. Notice I'm really opening here. Okay, I'm I'm extending outward. I'm gathered. So the the, the whole body is really has that, that extension there. I'm still have my central equilibrium. But it's 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 right here. It's right over my right foot. I can feel that. So, so I'm reaching out, and let me do it this way this time. So I'm here like this. And so now I'm going to take left heel, spiral down to the right, and the left ball, and turn. Reach out with the right hand, and spiral down to the left. Okay. So I'm getting. Pressing down. Notice this whole whole system turns as a unit. And but the right arm stays out there. The right arm, I'm turning, the right arm stays as I turn. Pivot on the right heel. Sink into set the right knee. Spiral down and turns. Come around and really sink into that right claw. Right here, you're sinking down and you're, you're reaching with the left hand, reaching with the right hand, and you have this spiraling energy just, just creating this vortex in your body. And what we're going to do, we're going to, oh, we're going to reach up. Reach under the armpit and reach up. This is exaggerated, but I want you to really get the feeling of that opening there. Reaching up with your hands. And then you turn. Pivot on your left heel. And open. Reach out with your left hand. 
You want the uh, you want the this little notch here between your your thumb and forefinger. You want it at eye level. Okay, so you're reaching out. So the hand's fairly high. It's not down here. It's it's fairly high. It's like like you know if you're you want to put that in somebody's face. You know that's that's what you got there. Your hand there in somebody's face. Your your right hand, your right arm is is that rounded shape, reaching out. Okay, so we we're here. We reach out. What we're we gonna do now? We're gonna reach under the left armpit with the right hand. Reach up and pivot and turn around the opposite way. So we're going to reach with the right hand out this time, left hand is pressing down, and we twist it the other way. And bring this left hand up under, and turn, pivot on the right heel, pivot on the left heel, and turn. So we're back, we're twisting, we're looking over, your, over the left shoulder now. Right hand comes up under the left arm, pivot on your left heel, pivot on your right heel, and reach. And then step in. Hands come down, sink in your heels, and to feel into the yin now. Throw the energy away, and then eat some more, and then throw that away. Feel your connection to the directions, north, south, east, west, heaven, earth. Take a deep breath, hands come up. Big yeah, big young, now heels and big in. Throw it all away. Empty out, go to the, go to the emptiness. I was wondering if you could just do that sequence once without talking, just uh, for continuity. Okay. Okay, we're going to do it uh, once. We're going to do that uh, sequence once through for continuity. Okay. So uh, doing it without, uh, without. But do you do it facing? Do it facing? Yes. So people okay. And see where the arms go. Okay, here we go. So let me begin. Good. Thank you so much. Great. Please have a seat. Hmm. 
was that? Good, 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 good. Okay, good. <laughs> Any questions, comments, clarifications, reactions? I you want to share with your gallery. Um, I, I want to do that again, but I would like it if you were facing away, because I was getting a little confused with where I was turning, and then I ended up look, you know, looking over my shoulder at you. And so, um, but the energy that came from, you know, holding the hands that way and just, I was so full. I was so full. I could not tell the difference between emptying out <laughs> and filling. <laughs> it was just so pronounced. Great. Great, thank you. That, that, that's good. It's good. It unfortunately, it it the circular nature means you're always going to be looking over your shoulder. It's it's one of those it's one of those things that, particularly if you get to walking the circle, then it's like like you know, you know where is he now? You know, and uh, uh, so it uh, it's kind of inevitable. But as you practice it, you start to get you know your own feel for it, and and then you uh, you don't need uh, need to check. Quite as often. Cool. Anybody else? Scott? Um, yeah, I definitely agree with Valerie. Um, with your back to us, it's much easier to follow along. Okay. Um, of course, we can't see your arms, but we can figure out the arms later. But um, okay. yeah, more more of that, please. That was that was more, really more swell. Of that, please. Okay. More That's of that, good. please. Good. Yes. Um, How about everybody else? Yeah, you would get uh, more of that, please. Is that uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. Okay. It would good. really help me if you wore something like bright orange socks so I could see <laughs> against the carpet. I'm having trouble finding bright the full position. Socks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your feet are blending with the carpet too much. I can't see what the position. Okay, okay. All right. That that's that's good. I, I wore I wore uh, light colored pants because we had complaints because it was against the brown sofa. It uh it wasn't showing up, so I wore that and light colored shirt. But now we need bright orange socks <laughs> to go with that. Okay? Something like that. We'll, we'll send you some. My, we'll send you some my little pony socks or something. Okay, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Richard, um, I just wanted to say that uh, from the beginning and bringing our attention to the expanse of the four directions uh, gave me a feeling that I was immersed in a much larger energy field than I've been feeling before. Uh, that was really something. Fabulous, fabulous. Oh, that's, that's, that's so good. That, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's terrific. But that, that's what we're looking for in this. You right. know, it, uh, getting that, that sense of connection to something much bigger we're not just using our own chi. We're we're riding the cosmic waves. We're we're dragons on on, on the wind. So so, it's, so, sim so simple, so logical, but uh, powerful stuff. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful, good. Thank, thank you. But Jonathan, you know all of this circulating. It it almost is as if if a tree is a metaphor for tai chi, like a tornado. Is the metaphor for Bagua. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I mean, I really yeah. mean that in the sense of the orientation is not like you're rooted and now you do things, but everything is in relation to everything else with all the turning. Mm -hmm. So much turning, but so much coordination top to bottom, like in a tornado, where the sense of direction is is very strong, uh, super strong, obviously, in a tornado. It's so perfectly rounded. And I guess we're sort of and I, when I think of Fook and those perfect circles he makes, uh, it, it seems it seems key somehow that, that that real sense of circularity where you have all like if you have north, you have south, you have east, and you have west. So you're you, you're in a system of equality in a sense, right? That you're you're moving in, but it's a balancing out with directions all the time, right? It's, right. It's and that earth that earth element at the center. It's kind of like the eye of the tornado. You there know, you go. It, wow, yeah, that, great. That, that you know, um, infinite potentiality 
that exists at the center, but it's also tending towards zero manifestation. And so it, uh, you're that, you know, you become the motion. A very different head than, uh, than the, uh, than the Taiji <laughs> Tran for me. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> very much uh, so. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Anybody else? Peter. A uh, question, you know, uh, the, uh, I'm wondering if, uh, you know, relating to all the directions, the way you were demonstrating and teaching, if there's something similar to, you know, holding the, the um, holding poles in opposition, if you, if holding the, all the directions at this simultaneously kind of functions to, you know, connect deeper, bigger, you know, to the the underlying unitive, you know, the the unity within the directions, the, you know, the, you know, kind of like the uh, Taiji in yin and yang. Is there a Taiji for the directions that you can connect to by holding all the directions simultaneously? It, 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 that is the Bagua. Yeah, it, it's, you know, we can look at it as the eight directions, but it's also the the uni the unity of them as well. So it it splits them up. Whereas Taiji splits it into two, you know, the Bagua splits it into eight, you know, or ten actually. And so that you know we're, uh, but that the the splitting is uh, a product of the mind, you know. Whereas the unity, just as you're saying there, is pervades it. So it's it's the one and the many coming together and you're you're getting to do both. You know, you're getting to to explore the polarities and explore the unity simultaneously. I have to say that's that's uh, awesome. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> uh, to uh, you know the prospect of actually experiencing of you know opening or deepening into that unity i mean i've had little tastes of it with the the taiji of yin and yang but this sounds you know kind of you know as we used to say mind-blowing uh to do it with all those all those directions yeah yeah i i agree it, it's definitely it it has possibilities valerie question I've only played a little bit with Bagua, you know, never had anything in depth at all to even this degree at all. Um, so forgive me if the uh, question is a little on the ignorant side, but okay, uh, direction will come from the hips, right? From the Yao, correct? We lead with the hips. No. Um, it's part of it. It's okay. Much, much more, much more than that. Okay. I just, I, I guess, also what I'm, I'm, you know, feet and upper body. You know, how do they play together with this? Do am I? Is this my hurricane up here? Is that I'm turning from my qua and it's expressed out here <laughs> help are those is that question making any sense they're questions. You've done it a whole hour and you're not a master yet come on oh, now. <laughs> I didn't get them you, haven't, you haven't solved the whole riddle <laughs> slacker <laughs> uh. um yeah so that's these are great <laughs> questions and uh, and and that's thank you for week. taking the question because that that's it. It's like you really have to. You it's all you have to do it all, and the only way you can do that is in a state of super consciousness. Okay. You know, if you try to do it rationally, it's not going to work. You need to okay. open up your your awareness so that you're able to, you know, to be both sides of the polarity at once. Okay. Chills. Yeah. 
chills. I, I think I've got a little crack in the door. <laughs> Say no more, Rick. <laughs> you, you know, I, I have the, I just have through this the image that you see when the weather forecasters are looking at hurricane. And that uh, it seems as though Bagua brings you to be the eye of the storm. Yes, eloquently stated, eloquently stated, yes. And so we have this thing which is undefinable within its own system. It's chaos within the system, but that chaos is organized around this is emptiness in the center, which is right. such a great metaphor, you know, that we have this. So we keep coming back while we're doing this exercise, we keep coming back to the yin, empty out, throw it away, throw it away, you know, because we're getting back and rechecking in with the eye of the, of the storm. And then, oh, then we're going to do, do this cool stuff again. And then, oh, come back and empty out again, back to the center. And then as we get more and more comfortable with the movements that emptiness is present all the time so then where your every movement is both the the activity and the emptiness is uh, so we get the uh, the stillness and the motion are simultaneous and these are the same words we use in taiji tran right this just happens to be a different approach to it one that kind of it disturbs your fixed ideas, particularly those of us who have been doing Tai Chi for decades. It just kind of disturbs your fixed ideas about how this is how it ought to be. And it says, how about we turn this whole thing on its head and we do it the exact opposite? And it's like, well, you know, your, your mind has to then, you know, come to grips with the fact that there's a this whole other perspective that is equally applicable, equally uh, useful, and uh, very powerful. And it's a lot of fun, actually, to tell you the truth. It's, it's just a lot of fun to, to move around like this, and you're, you're getting this kind of uh, kind of thing happening. It, uh, you get, uh, particularly, you know, it, there are not many activities in life that we, <laughs> particularly those of us of a certain age, you know, to get to to open up like that, you know, and really, you know, flow freely. And this is a this is a, it's, a, it's a nice adventure to reawaken that childhood impulse in us. Well, this I I really appreciate your approach to this because um, I think that I think that starting with okay, we're gonna learn Bagua, so we're going to learn to do circle walking. That that can be kind of intimidating and not uh, comfortable. Right. So I really appreciate the perspective that you brought to the beginnings here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. And, you know, as I said before, I, in the past, I would have started with circle walking, you know, and, and you know, people who study with me will attest to that. It's like, you know, and that's just because you know, that's more of a traditional approach. Right, but the constraints of you of of the uh, the Zoom call, you know, says okay. How about we have to rethink this, Rick? You know, we have to we have to approach this differently. How about we enter into it, you know, with our wee bit of alchemy approach and and really tap into the energy as best we can, and within the confines of our living rooms, and where you don't need a big, you know. 10 foot circle to, uh, to, to dance around in, you can do it, you know, in a very smaller, a much smaller space. And the circle walking will eventually help us become the eye of the storm. Huh. The circle walking is, uh, it's its own thing. It's, uh, it, uh, it, it changes your life to, to, to do that. It, it, you like, well, you know, it's, it seems so simple. Oh, I'm just going to walk around a circle, you know, like, but in, <laughs> No, <laughs> it's 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 uh, it's challenging, and to do it with mindfulness, mindfulness for each movement is uh, it is very powerful, and you get to be that eye of the of the hurricane. Cool, Scott. 
So, um, Jen, so kind of start out facing east is the recommendation, or yeah, that's what I do. If 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 that's comfortable, if, you know, you can if you get you can if you have a space that you can do that in, that's great. But I I would say don't get too dogmatic about it. You know, I think just be aware of what direction you're facing. You know, if the only way you can do it is by facing north, then go ahead. You know, do that. Just open up to the to the water energy that's coming from the north, and that's that's great. You know, we like that. You know, fires at your back then, and uh, so you get to you get to play around with it. But I face east. I like to to start off with that because that's kind of where the 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 five elements begins. Begins with wood energy. You know, wood to fire, to metal, to earth, to metal, to uh, water. So uh, that works out. That works for me. Okay, kids, it's uh, it's been fun. Uh, let's do some more of that uh, uh, next time, and uh, uh, we'll uh, we'll see where we can go with this. Great. Thank you all so much. Bye bye. Thank you, Maria. Love you, Thank Maria. You, Maria. Love you guys. Yeah.